Hello, this is the Silver Watchman, and welcome to the very first episode of a brand new series. <sighs> Dead Eyes. Now, I know that sounds pretty awesome. Actually, it kind of is. But... Know this. There's a lot of similarities between... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me just give some background background before I really start getting into things because... You guys need to understand what's going on before I really get into the thing. Yeah, this game's about zombies. I... Yeah, I should have been quicker about that. Yeah, this is a zombie game. And I know that this is startling for some people. Especially the ultra-judgmental people. And in this game... Uh, you can die a very, very vicious death in which you get eaten alive by zombies. Now, why pick a zombie game? Actually, the other question should also be, why did God okay this? Wait. Oh, right. Because there's a point to this. And besides, God can use just about anything and anybody, so... Yeah, when God decides to make a point, he really doesn't pull any punches. I mean, look at how he uses somebody like me to talk to somebody like you. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> So this game is, you basically have to not get eaten alive by zombies. And um, that, that's all you really gotta do. You just gotta make it to the end of each path and not get eaten alive. Seems pretty simple, right? That's pretty simple. So, why the zombies? I know I've asked that question a few times and I have not answered it. That's to give you, the viewer, some time to answer it. Yourself. Yeah. Now think of it like this. We, the people that have the Holy Spirit and are saved by God. We are like this, you know, this guy that's just kind of trying to make it to the end of each stage. And not get eaten alive by zombies and torn to shreds and, you know, basically dead. Because we have the Holy Spirit, that does not mean that we cannot lose it. If we allow ourselves to, you know, mess up. Yeah. We could lose the Holy Spirit and then we would be dead. We would be dead to God. Instead of dead to sin. Now, the goal of sin is to spread. Yes. The goal of sin is to spread like a virus. You know, zombie virus. Oh, look. Correlation. Hooray. <clears throat> Sorry, even I have to act a bit weird sometimes. So... When you're, you know, all right, those zombies, yeah, those zombies are like those people that aren't saved. You're basically walking around and you're dead. 
You're not saved, you're hellbound. We with the Holy Spirit are like this living guy. But if we allow ourselves to compromise a lot, then we'll be dead too. The goal of being saved is to bring life to others. The goal of a zombie virus is much like the goal of sin. It needs to infect as many hosts as possible. Because all it does is make the is makes the host into a corpse that is walking around and decaying. Your soul is decaying while you're in sin. That's why there's a lot of suicide with people that aren't saved. And for those that compromised a lot, you die. Because you're no longer dead to sin. But if you don't compromise. Yeah, so sin sin is like a is like a zombie virus. It's a perfect representation. Because it spreads, it needs more people. You know? Because if you mess up, I mean, look, okay, I'm trying to say like a whole bunch of things at once because this is like. There's so much potential. Oh, man. But you don't have to be like that zombie. You can come to God. And you can be like this living guy that is not very good at navigating. As you continue walking on your walk, just like how there's traps for this guy, there's going to be traps for you. And you have to learn to move around that. Move around the traps so you can make it to your goal. Your goal is to bring more people to God. If you do not bring more people to God, then you're failing as a Christian. Because our goal, think of it like this, if there's a zombie, the walking corpse, a person that's just decaying and dying because of their sin, their soul is rotting away, that we have the cure. We have the cure to death. 
Think about that. That's amazing. The cure to death? Will you never have to be afraid of dying ever again? That's amazing. But just because we have the core, the, 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 why stutter? Sorry. <clears throat> just because we have the core does it, the core, the cure. My gosh, why can't I talk? Just because we have the cure does not mean that we can't get reinfected with sin. Now, there, now, I, I'm sure some people are like, well, what is sin? Sin is like a zombie virus, okay? It gets you killed pretty dead. Now... There is, there's more than one sin, just like there's more than one of these zombies. So there's more than one way you could be trapped. But know this, so long as you have the Holy Spirit, it is your responsibility to ensure that the cure to death gets to those who need it. You don't need to be bringing it to somebody who's... You don't need, you know, bring the cure to death to somebody that's already alive. Yes. You know? You wouldn't give this guy the zombie cure if he's alive and not infected at all. You bring it to the zombie. Uh, the person that's infected with the zombie virus. Think of it like that. The zombie is uh, somebody that, that's too far gone. But... Know this, God made the effort for you. You should at least make the effort for that guy over there. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sitting through the whole video. Blessings be upon you. Glory be to God. This is truly an honor. This is the Silver Watchman signing out.